I'm going to be announcing the Valentine's readathon and discussing my TBR. So this is a readathon that takes place throughout the month of February, and the purpose of it is to just kind of like share our love of reading and connect with other people, and it's going to be a good time. <laughs> There's going to be Twitter sprints and Instagram prompts and a bingo challenge and games, and I'm really excited to be co-hosting the Twitter sprints and the Instagram prompts. Be sure to follow bt underscore valentines on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with what's going on and to find out more about the other hosts of the event. I will link those below. I will also link Kate's channel, who is the creator of the readathon. Um, I will link her YouTube channel where she also talks about the readathon and everything that goes with it. Okay, so for the games, there are two that require you to sign up if you're going to participate. The first is Bookish Cupid, which is similar to like Secret Santa. So you fill out the form um, and then you get another reader and you get their info and everything and you pick out a book that you that you like that you think they might also like and you send it to them and you will also receive a book from someone else. And then there is Buddy Read Roulette. This also you have to sign up for. You will get paired with another participant who may share similar reading interests and you'll basically buddy read a book. Um, but for these two games that you have to sign up for, make sure that if you sign up you are for sure going to participate because we don't want somebody's partner to end up not having anybody or getting anything because their person backed out at the last minute. And these I believe are due by January 27th. Then we have a bingo card challenge thing. Uh, the bingo card is basically reading challenges. You can do as many or as few of them as you want or you can combine challenges. It's just kind of whatever you want to do. The whole point is just to have fun and read and have a good time. So I'm not going to go through each challenge, um, but again, Kate's video is linked below where it goes um, in detail about the challenges and she probably describes it way better than I would be able to. The, um, the Google Doc is also linked below where you can get a like picture of the bingo card and a description of all the challenges. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the books that I plan to read during this readathon that take care of different bingo challenges. Though, I mean, this could all change once we actually get into it. We'll see. Okay, the first one I have here is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I still haven't read this and I feel bad that I haven't gotten to it yet. We're getting to it now. So I have this one taking care of three challenges. The first is Roses Are Red because there's red on the cover, Black History Month, and living single, which means that it's a standalone. The next book I have listed here that takes care of four challenges is Wayfair by Alexander Bracken. These challenges are Gift That Keeps Giving, which is a book that you got as a present. I got this for Christmas. Beautiful on the shelf because this book is beautiful. More to Love, which is a book that's over 400 pages, and I believe this one is because I looked it up. Definitely is. It's over 500 pages. Um, and then Heartwarming, which is just a book that warms your heart. And I've already read this before, like, a, two years ago? Wow. Um, <laughs> that was before I even had this channel. Um, but there are scenes in here that are very heartwarming, and I'm so excited to, like, read this again. I'm gonna be reading Passenger, um, in January. Um, and I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Next that I have here is Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is part of the... Lunar Chronicles, that's what it's called. For this, um, I have two challenges. The first is Happily Ever After, which is read a, re read a retelling. And then Library Lover's Month, which is to read a book from the library. I don't own in this series, so I will be getting it from the library. Next is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. Um, this is part of the Every Heart of Doorway series. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. For this, I only have one challenge, but it's Skinny Love, which is read a book that's under 200 pages, and it took me so long to find a book that was under 200 pages. <laughs> it was a struggle. Because, like, even, like, short books that I could find were, like, 250, and I was like, this is too much. <laughs> Next, I have Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This also takes place for Roses Are Red, because this entire cover is red. Um, and then it covers the challenges, the challenge to the ends of the earth, which is to read a book that's been translated, and I believe this was originally written in German. And then other challenges um, that I can meet 
just through any of the books really that I've already mentioned um, is Read Cozy which is to read a book with like a blanket. Five stars which is to read a book that's been recommended to you or has been rated five stars by someone you know. And where You Go I Go is where you take a book around with you all day and I practically do that now when I'm at school. I just take something with me just you never know. Framing the Fave is to take a picture with your favorite book. That won't be any problem. And then lastly sharing is caring which is to read something or do a challenge from something from another readathon also happening in February um, and I just signed up for another readathon today so that'll be fun. But again all of these books could change once we get into the month. I am in school so that's gonna take up a lot of my time. Um, so it could get to where I have to start combining even more challenges to fit books so I don't have time to read as much or as many books as I think I'm going to. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for this readathon. I'm so excited to be co-hosting the Twitter sprints and the Instagram prompts. It's just, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. So if you are interested, definitely check it out. I have listed everything you would need to know down below. Links to everything is all in the description. You can go to the Twitter page for the Valentine's readathon and everybody that is hosting and what they are hosting and when will all be on that page. And also let me know if you plan to participate or if you have any questions I will answer them as best I can or find out for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.